Hello friends, this is Ali from Product Analytics Academy and today I'm going to show you how to create a power user curve in Mixpanel. In recent years, the power user curve has become a really popular way to measure product performance. The power user curve is a chart that breaks down your users in terms of how many days they have been active, typically in a week or a month. I'm not 100% sure who is the originator of this idea, but it's most often attributed to Andrew Chen, whose blog post I have opened here and I have linked in the description below the video. Here, you see an example of the power user curve on a monthly basis. It tells you what portion of your users were active one day in the month, what portion two days, three days, and all the way up to 30 days in a month. You can also view this chart on a weekly basis, in which case the chart spans from one day to seven days, since the maximum number of days that a user can be active in a week is seven. To learn more about how to interpret a power user curve, I recommend reading Andrew's article linked in the description. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create the chart in Mixpanel. The way to do it is actually a bit hidden in the Mixpanel user interface, which is why a lot of folks get confused as to how this is possible. But I'm going to show you how to do it and it'll be super easy. For this example, we're going to use the e-commerce demo data set that comes with Mixpanel, which is sample data for a fictional e-commerce platform much like Amazon. We access that data by coming over here to the top right of your screen, clicking on the project name, selecting sample data sets, e-commerce, and explore demo, which brings us to this page. The power user curve is built using the retention report. So we start with a blank one by clicking on reports and selecting retention. Then we go to the left-hand panel where it says retention, click on that and choose the frequency option. This is what I mean when I said it's a little bit hidden. This is how you access the power user curve. It's called frequency analysis, and it's an option within the retention report. Now, to build a power user curve, you need an event that is the measure of activity. If the user has triggered that event in a day, that means they were active in that day. If they triggered it six days in a week, that means they were active six days in a week. For this e-commerce product, I'm going to select product searched as that event. And because we want to look at it on a monthly basis, I'm going to increase the time range to be something like six months, basically anything over a month. Now, by default, the power user curve that is generated is limited to a span of a day, which means it's broken down to hourly buckets. We want to look at it for a month, so we're going to click on the day button in the top right and select the month option. Now we see buckets for each day and they span all the way throughout the length of one full month. So there you go. This is a power user curve on a monthly basis displayed within Mixpanel. Like any other chart in Mixpanel, you can also come to the left-hand panel and add breakdowns. For example, if you want to see how users differ in terms of the um, stickiness between different operating systems, you add the breakdown of operating system over in the left-hand panel. Or you can then take that same value and add it as a filter and look at only, say, Android users and see what their power user curve looks like. But there's one aspect of this curve that's very unique just to this type of chart. And that is what you see here under the frequency criteria section where the option is cumulative or non-cumulative frequency. By default, the charts are set to cumulative frequency. What that means is that if a user was active for four days, they will also be included in the three day, two day, and one day buckets. Because if a user has been active for four days in a month, then by definition, they've also been active one, two, and three days in that month. That's what cumulative means here. It makes it so that your chart looks a bit smoother and that it always trends downwards because you can't have more people in the five-day bucket than the four-day bucket, since everyone who's in the five-day bucket is also in the four-day bucket. But if you switch it to non-cumulative, which you can do in the left-hand panel, and I want you to pay attention to these percentages below the chart when I do this, now a user can only be in one bucket in this chart. So if someone was active five days in a month, then they will only be in the five day bucket. They will no longer be in the four, three, and two buckets, only in the five one. And that's why these percentages went down because now each user is limited to just one bucket. By the way, for some reason, as of the time of publishing this video, Mixpanel doesn't show users who were active for just one day. 
On the lower end of it, it limits it at two days. This makes some sense for when we are in a cumulative frequency chart because anybody that's included in the chart by default was active at least one day, so that number is always going to be 100%, but it doesn't quite make sense for non-cumulative frequency, so not totally sure why it's not displayed here. Me and others have informed the Mixed Panel team about this, so hopefully by the time that you see this and you try it out in Mixed Panel, this small issue has been fixed. But the chart is still very useful in both types. Now let's say instead of wanting to see a snapshot of your user's buckets like this, you want to see how a specific bucket changes over time. For example, you have a KPI defined as percentage of users who are active on your platform for three or more days in a month. In this scenario, you come over to the top right of your chart where it says frequency curve, click on it and choose the frequency trend options instead. Now you see a trend over time. Next to that frequency trends option, on the left hand side, you see this option where you can select which one of those buckets you want to see the trend of over time. So it defaults to two days, but you can also set it to three, four, or any number of days. Now, instead of showing a snapshot of the frequency curve, it takes one of those buckets and it displays it over whatever time range that you select. It's at six months right now, but I can set it to 12 and look at it in an even wider time range. So if your KPI was, for example, like we said, anybody who has been active for at least like three days, then we have this at three days and we have this at cumulative and we look at that value over time. So to recap, the power user curve is found in the retention report. We're gonna build it again from scratch. We go reports, retention. Then we click on the left-hand panel and select frequency. That is the frequency analysis option, which is what makes panel calls the power user curve. You can view it daily, weekly, or monthly. I'm gonna add an event here so we can see what that looks like. This is monthly, this is weekly. Now it shows it just two days to seven days. And you can switch between cumulative or non-cumulative frequency or add filters and breakdowns to it like most other charts in Mixpanel. And that's that for power user curves. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about product analytics, check out the link in the description to a free course that teaches you how to set success metrics and KPIs for your product, which you can then use Mixpanel to measure and monitor. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and have a great rest of your day.